Hello students, welcome to Sort of Source classes. Today we are going to solve a few questions on real analysis. The question is, for a b belonging to natural numbers, consider the sequence d n is equal to n c a by n c b. d n is basically n c a by n c b for n greater than a b. Then which of the following statements are true? as n tends to infinity option a dn converges for all values of a and b now take a is equal to 2 and b equals 1 then dn is equal to n minus 1 factorial by 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial that is n minus 1 by 2 tends to infinity as n tends to infinity. Therefore, the series is divergent. So, option A is incorrect. Now, for A less than B, and n minus a greater than n minus b we have dn to be equal to b factorial by a factorial into n minus a into n minus a minus 1 up to n minus b minus 1 which gives us 0 as n tends to infinity so option b is correct now checking for option c for a is equal to b dn is equal to 1 for all n therefore the sequence converges since it is constant, therefore the sequence converges being constant. So option C is again correct. And option D, dn converges if a greater than b. This is incorrect. As we have shown that if a is equal to b is equal to 1, the series diverges and over here a greater than b so d is again incorrect so b and c are the correct answers the next question is let a and b a sequence of real numbers satisfying summation n is equal to 1 to infinity mod of a n minus a n minus 1 less than infinity then the series summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n into x to the power n, where x belongs to r is convergent on A, nowhere on r, b, everywhere on r, option c, in some set containing minus 1 comma 1, and option d, only on minus 1 comma 1. Now, take a n to be equal to 1 by n which implies that summation n is equal to 1 to infinity mod a n minus a n minus 1 is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n into n minus 1 less than infinity then summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n into x to the power n equals summation n is equal to 1 to infinity x n by n. Now, by d Alembert ratio test for convergence, we have 
limit n tending to infinity a n by a n plus 1 is equal to limit n tending to infinity n plus 1 into x to the power n by n into x to the power n plus 1 that is equal to 1 by x greater than 1 provided mod x less than 1 now at x is equal to 1 the series diverges and at x is equal to minus 1 the series converges by Leibniz test so the interval for convergence is minus 1 comma 1 where minus 1 the close interval it includes minus 1 but it does not include plus 1 so option C is the correct answer